Hey, in this video, I'm going to show you how to get found on AI search engines. This is a really big question. A lot of people are asking because more and more people are using, you know, ChatGPT and uh, Google uh, Gemini, right? So we want to show you how to how to get found there. It's just a couple of simple steps. I got one or two tricks with Fiverr, and uh, you're going to love them. All right, so stick around. I dedicate this video to my friend Darren Marion. I love you, brother. All right, guys. I hope you guys are doing great. You know, you come and watch my videos. Everybody comes for this section, right? We're trying to rank right here. But if somebody types in, you know, that's if it's somebody types in plumbers near me, right? So they get the three pack. But what if they type something else in? What if, you know, they just want the best plumber and they type in who's the best plumber near me? Well, now they get something different. Now they get the AI overview, right? And there are companies showing up here and they're not yours, right? They're not your companies. And more and more of these type of searches are being done and we need to fix this. So let me show you exactly what to do. Hey guys, thanks for watching. Please subscribe and if you'd like, I do client work so please feel free to reach out. Thank you. All right guys, so what you wanna do is you wanna come over to ChatGPT Right. And the first thing you want to do is uh, is check your current AI visibility. So just come over to ChatGPT and type in your brand. Right. ABC plumbing, ABC, whatever your brand is and click tools. See this button right here. Just click this right here and then scroll down to web search. See where it says web, web search right here. Just click that. Now you just want to click this and it's going to. what is mind saw right so now it's going to tell me what mind saw is okay it's a full service digital marketing agency everything's great okay now where did it get this information from right so what i want to do is i want to click right here i want to click sources and i'll notice that it got it got the information from linkedin from my website from Facebook. So what it does is it goes all around the web and it asks and it, and it collects information, right? DNB, here's my Twitter account. So this is why it's very important to post on all social because um, AI is collecting all that information. So if you haven't done that, you're not a Facebook guy, you're not a LinkedIn guy. I'm no, I know I'm not a LinkedIn guy, but I make it a point a couple of times a month to make some posts on uh, on LinkedIn, right? So what I'm what I'm doing is I'm just shoring up my brand. So that's really step one. Okay, guys, it's super important to get listed also on Web 2.0s, Tumblr pages and Weebly pages. You could just think of them as your other social media networks. So pick one or two. Come over to Fiverr. Just type in Weebly. See this right up here? Type in Weebly or Tumblr or Web 2.0 and you'll notice that there are people selling these accounts. They'll also set them up for you. You see over here for $5, this guy will set up Wix, Weebly, Squarespace, right? And what you want to do is you just want to get a couple of these set up and you want to post on them, you know, once or twice a week. You want to put your brand name in the post. You want to put your address if you have if you have a brick and mortar. If you don't, if you have a service area business, you want to you want to talk about the uh, areas that you service, and you want to write an article, you know, two or three times a week and post them on these Web 2.0s. Remember, it's not for anything else. It's just for the language models that when they go out and look for information. They know who you are. If you try to play catch up later on and you think this isn't important and you try to do this a year from now, you're going to be buried by business by businesses that are just starting now. And you've been in business for 20 years. So post on your social media and post on your web 2.0s. Very simple to get. Like I said, you come over to Fiverr and you just buy a gig for five or ten dollars they'll give you the username and password and you just post on you don't have to do anything fancy just post on them uh you know using using ai it could be ai content and just keep posting on it make sure you include your brand you're shoring up your brand the last thing i'm going to show you is a real ninja trick 
And, and this is super important. I'd like you to do this as well. When these language models like ChatGPT and AI overview with Google, uh, when they're searching for something, the first thing that they search for is the, the, is a domain name. So for example, if your domain name is best plumber in Brooklyn, New York, or who's the best plumber in Brooklyn, New York, you're going to show up in AI overview and chat GPT. Let that sink in for a second, right? So you don't want to get lost in, um, you, you want to be found in the best plumber in Brooklyn, New York or in Tampa Bay, right? You need to start buying domain names and just putting up a very simple site. And once again, you could go over to Fiverr. It, it, it doesn't have to be a WordPress site. It could be a Wix site. It could be a Weebly site. It, it could be at go high level. It could be anything, right? And so you just come over to, you know, something like GoDaddy. The bet you could also, if the best plumber, let's say best plumber in Brooklyn, I noticed that when I type and I listen to the video, that sounds like thunder. Uh, okay, so if you type in the best plumber in Brooklyn, if this is if this is taken, it's okay to put um, dashes in, right? Dashes in between the the name. But you definitely want this is something that you want to do. All right, right? Okay, so it, it's available. I, Every, every week they change this. So yeah, it looks like you could buy it for 23 cents for the first year, right? So you want to, you want to buy the whole thing. You want to buy something like who's the best. You want to put the question like who's the best? Who's the best plumber? Now remember something, there's no apostrophes in in a domain name. So you can't you can't put an apostrophe in between the who and the s. So you just have to spell it out. Who's the best plumber in Brooklyn? And you want to write you want to buy that that domain name and you want to uh put content on that and then keep referring back to your brand. ABC plumber. You put ABC plumber on the website. Who's the best plumber in Brooklyn? And you just keep putting that because here's the thing. If I type this in right here, follow me here. I hope some I hope some of you stayed this long. I hope I hope this is ringing some bells that you're thinking about your business and you're like, "Wow, I know people are typing in, you know, uh who's the best plumber, who's the cheapest plumber, who's the, you know, best orthodontist, pool installer." I want to work with a pool installer, real like a high-end pool installer. If you're a highly high-end pool installer or you know one, give me a buzz, man. I definitely want to work with a pool installer, right? So right now, who's the best? So right now, AI Overview can't determine who the best plumber in Brooklyn is, but it could give some suggestion because nobody's, pur nobody's purchased this domain name, who's the best plumber in Brooklyn, right? So... You know, I would be doing this. I would I would have my domain name, who's the best plumber on Brooklyn, and then um, I would I would all I would do this too. For example, if my if my business was a plumber, in the article I would on the website, who's the best plumber in Brooklyn, I would write an article, and in the article I would name myself the best plumber on Brooklyn. So I would write. Mine saw is the best plumber in Brooklyn. And I would put that on my web 2.0s and I would put that on my uh, on my website somewhere. And I'd also put it on my uh, social media. You got to crowd language mod models with this term if you want to be found in it. But the most important thing you could do is buy the domain, the exact match domain name. Who's the best plumber in Brooklyn? Who's the best pool installer in San Diego? Okay. Guys, I hope this helped you. I wish you could see my view right now. I, I live in Manila. I moved out here this year just to um, try it out. And I'll tell you what, I absolutely love it. The sun is going down. It's a beautiful city. You've never seen nicer people than the, people, than the Filipino people. Uh, they are so welcoming and nice, nice, nice people. 
if you get the opportunity, it would be great if you came came down here, came to uh, the Manila, Manila Philippines. It's um, it's really, really beautiful. It's a beautiful place to live. So I just want to thank you very much for, you know, watching my video. Um, please be good to your wife. Be good to your kids. Be good to your family. That's the thing that's most important, right? That's the reason why we do this. That's the reason why you're watching this video right now. Because you have some bills to pay. You have some school bills to pay, or clothes, or food, right? And I know that. That's why I make these videos. I make these videos for you so you can help yourself. And I hope this video helped you. Guys, have a great day and we'll see you tomorrow.